everyone, and welcome to episode 24 of Adventure SMP. We are back with our main players, and I'm so excited to have you. Um, today's episode is a lot of fun. There's no new things, but I am super proud of this music edit. There's a particular section that you'll hear that it just it scratches the brain just right, honestly, and I love it so much, and I hope you enjoy it too. But without further ado, let's get straight into the episode. Okay, wait, actually, I lied. I have an announcement that I totally forgot about before we get into the episode at Gen Con. When this comes out, it is like 20-something days until Gen Con. Adventure SMP has a panel. Um, we have a little panel um, where we will be playing just a little one-shot that is Minecraft-themed. Um, our very own Petal and Eric will be two of the players for it, and I am genuinely so, so excited for it. I'm going to try and stream it over on my Twitch um, twitch.tv slash seashellvids. It will be Saturday, August 4th, I believe. Hold on, I'm double checking. Give me just a moment. I need to look at a calendar. Yes, no, the 5th. It's the 5th. Saturday, August 5th at 4 p.m. EST. Twitch.tv slash seashellvids. I'm going to do my very best to stream it. If not, I'll be recording it and releasing it um, on my YouTube, which is also seashellvids, um, where you can find actually all of our episodes also on YouTube in case you wanted to listen there. But I'm so, so excited for this. I wanted to do a panel for like two years at Gen Con, and I finally had a reason to do it, an excuse to do it, and I am absolutely ecstatic and cannot wait so I hope you guys enjoy today's episode, and if you can stop by the stream, watch the YouTube video later, whatever, I'm going to continue to talk about this until it happens, because I'm absolutely hyped! But now for real, let's get into the episode. Welcome to episode 24 of Adventure SMP Podcast. My, man, na my name is Tay. I don't know why I stumbled on that so much. Uh, you can use they, them pronouns for me. Um, I am your story leader. And with me today are my players. Hello, I am Jamie. I am playing Business Ray today. We both use they, they them pronouns. Business Ray is a level three uh, great old one warlock of the tome, which is how they also have a familiar business mob. Lovely little sheep. Hello, my name is Eric. I go by Hey Good on the internet, H-E-Y-G-U-D-E. -E. Um, my pronouns are he, him, and I'll be playing Peebus, who is a level three bard in the College of Lore whose pronouns are also he, him, schmipple, plimble, plapple, ploople is what I always say. Uh, actually, you did, the last time you did something like that, it was very similar to that one. And I know because it was recent on editing. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I have a very, very specific lexicon of gibberish words, apparently, I've been told. <laughs> I never know, but people are like, why, why do you always say this? I'm like, do I always say <laughs> Schmeeble peas. It definitely has some of the same syllables and sounds in it for sure. Yeah. 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 One of these days you're going to say something identical to something you've said before. Hey, I, I am merely a monkey on a typewriter. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a good metaphor. Hi, I'm Pedal. I am. Hi, welcome. I'm still new. Um, no, you're not. I'm still new. You're not new. You're not new. I'm still new. It sure is uh, nice to have a new, new player for 23 every session. Episodes. <laughs> yeah, Tate, it's a lot of pressure to put on a new person. You can't just like <laughs> tell them they're not new. That's got to let someone be new. What yeah, about when someone not is new, new when I'm ready to be not new? Let me be new what as long as I What about when somebody is actually new? Well, then they'll feel camaraderie with Petal because they're both new, yeah. you know? Then they won't feel like the only new person. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh... Yeah, Tell there'll be a new Grumpy. person club. Anyways, tell me I'm about playing... your little guy. My little guy is Groki, who is a level three plasmoid uh, oath of devotion paladin, flavored as a slime hybrid. And I'd also like to take this introduction to debut the name of Groki's new wolf, uh, and her name is Athenia. So. Groki and Athenia, best friends forever. 
incredible. I love them. Athenia? Ath- Sorry, did you say? Athenia. It's it's Athenia. like spelt like Athena, but with with like an I like an I A at the end instead of just an A. Okay. Yeah. All right. Last episode we had with you players. Um, you guys entered this new world. Uh, Peebus called it home, his place, his world. He knows where everything is. Um, we learned about Ender Chests um, and how not to break them. <laughs> we Hey, come on. Who hasn't accidentally broken an Ender Chest? Every once in a while it happens. Oh, well, yeah, I'm still going to... Oh! <laughs> they just raise their hand. <laughs> um, to be fair, I haven't played Minecraft enough to have known what an ender chest was before this, so I may, I may, be, I may be excused. <laughs> and then we then, you know, looked around for another one, and Business Ray went, hey, I want to I wanna get my best friend here. I want to get my little PA, my assistant to come around round. Um, so you guys, you know got ready to do that when there was a pillager noise. There was a bam, 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 Um, and, you know, Peebus did his best. He tried to block everyone off so that they could hide, and then um, I ended up hitting Ray directly in the face. Yeah, is you what did. I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, and then when the hour was over and uh, the little PA appeared, a little pink sheep in a business suit, um, they then, you know, broke one of the blocks to see, you know, if they could get out, if they were all good, because there was no commotion outside. Uh, and then they just heard, come out with your hands up and we won't kill you. And that's where we ended the session. So, um, yeah, pillagers are outside. They uh, want to do something with you. Um, you're not, I mean, apparently, supposedly not kill you, but... We're kind of iffy on that one. So what are we going to do, guys? Well, I I mean, I feel like, Ray, it seems like you have kind of a whole thing going on here. Well, that was before. Now it's... uh, hmm. Because I I also want to point out, these guys are definitely going to kill us. There is no chance that these people don't kill us. Or at least try. Um, I also... But I will point out, there isn't a route. There is another... A portal out of here, not out of the world, but out of this area that is is in the other direction. But we would still have to sneak our way over there. But it's a, there's a chance we could get there. But I don't know. I was thinking maybe we take out a couple of these guys. And then we. I also I give them a little little little, little like tweet, little, little little charm. Little I'm going to charm them, you know, with my charm. And then maybe we could find out some more information about these fools. And you think, you definitely think they're lying to us about not killing us? Yeah. <laughs> Good answer for complete answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I've, I've attacked, I've attacked and been attacked by many of these things. I've never, ever been met with anything other than immediate violence. But hey, I mean, maybe these ones are different. Maybe these ones have turned over a new, new Minecraft leaf, you know? Maybe they're, uh... I guess Minecraft, the word Minecraft isn't in Minecraft anywhere, so Peebus wouldn't actually call it Minecraft. Yeah, uh, just a new regular leaf, then. Um, <laughs> a new leaf block, one might say. A new leaf block, yeah. That's what I was looking for, yeah. <laughs> I got you, I got you. But I don't know. I mean, I'm mainly curious, just like, I don't want to mess up, like, because I... I I don't want to mess up whatever business Ray's got cooking, you know? Oh, uh, Big Bad Ray has a plan. Can I make a perception Big check from staying there just looking out the block without going out to see if I can see where any of them are? Yeah, you can do it at disadvantage. Okay. I'm not even looking for, like, to see them specifically. If I can, like, just see bu- bushes rustling and be like, hey, they're behind the bush. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, no. No, that was an eight and a two. Yeah, uh... There's, there's definitely, there's definitely blocks out there. There's definitely maybe blocks people, out there. maybe <laughs> pillagers. You know, you think you you hurt someone. It's got to be well, someone. Well, Peavis, Peavis like, did investigate, and Peavis saw them, right? Yes. Okay. Peavis knows where at least a couple of them are. Definitely saw the crossbows. Uh how far away are those ones? Can if Peavis points them out to me, are they within sixty feet? Sure. Sweet. So uh, you say they're going to kill us, eh? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to try. That's for sure. Okay, well, uh, maybe we let them know we're serious then? No. And I am going to drop a shatter in the area where he pointed out those two. So, 10-foot cool. sphere, con save, DC 14. Cool. And I guess um, they're flat-footed, too. Right? Well, they're not flat-footed. It's they're a con save. That one yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that there's three of them within that range. Oh, that's gold. Nice. And I'm gonna roll for each one individually because I think that's better. One of them succeeded; the other two failed. Okay. Uh, that is going to be 17 damage, half to eight, uh, eight for the one that passed. Cool. Uh, yeah, you definitely hear a noise out there as a reaction. <laughs> Would you like to reconsider your position? Uh, how, how, so with the block broke, where, where are people, is Peebus like at the broken block? Yeah, uh, well, I guess I would have like stepped out of the way for a second because, because Ray looked at the block I too. figured we were on either side of it, just poking around to look. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, peeking cool. through a doorway kind of deal. Okay. What is your AC business, Ray? Because you were just the one poking your head out. Uh, 14. Cool, that's a nat 20. Oh. So in response, an arrow whizzes at you, uh, and... Ooh, they, they hit hard with a nat 20... Um, Oof. I'm so sorry. You're definitely down. <laughs> um, can I can I go ahead and just absolutely fucking roast the pillager that took the shot at him with cutting words to try to maybe reduce some of that damage? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so I, I I target the one that just shot at Business Ray and I say, uh, hey you fucking gray face! Stupid crossbow using her motherfucker. You're dumb. And that's my uh that's my cutting word. Um <laughs> <laughs> I should have written this beforehand. Uh, point it. of order mechanically, you actually can't do that. If I'm getting hit, I'm in the doorway oh. and you can't see them. So uh, I will actually I you guys are standing feet, behind glass right. or ice. You can partially see through ice. So I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it happen. They're not, most of them are not fully transparent, but they are, we're like, you can, I'm going to let it happen because I think it's cool. And they're rule mostly cool. transparent. Okay. Rule of cool. I'll take it. Um, Let's see how I should really write. <laughs> and I heal you for two damage. Huh? Huh? I, that would bring it down to. Hold on, how do numbers work? I helped. I helped a It'd little be bit. Ten damage. Oh, I am still up. You are okay. okay. Gosh, Ray, I've just been wailing on you, and then you got shot, and it was a whole thing. I'm sorry. We don't stand down. You want to come out before you die? We don't intend to kill you. Hey, uh, I'm going to do that again. As soon as I do, put a block down where this is. Then we're going to wait for an hour. Then I'm going to do it again. Then we're going to wait for an hour. Then I'm going to do it again. That sounds... If they just want to hang out there, let's just battle of attrition, see who wins. I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I really want to see how that plays out. Cool. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and roll for the next one. Okay. Um, so mechanically, Peebus is holding his action to place a block as soon as I cast it so I can't get shot. <laughs> yeah. No, I just want yeah. to be clear because uh, I don't want to get shot again. Already the next group, the next group failed the save, so. Uh, they only take 12 damage. Cool. Well, yeah. And then we short rest. Unless they want to come break down a block and get time to get in here. I'm going to roll to see what they do because that's. If, can pillagers break blocks? Ray doesn't know Minecraft. So, pillagers cannot break blocks. <laughs> These are not normal pillagers, though. That's ah, where the rolls coming in. That's right. Peebus, you are no longer a normal villager. That's true. So why would they be normal pillagers? Okay. Um. So they're not going to break down a block. So you guys get an hour you get a short rest. I get roll dice for hit points. <laughs> 
Yay, I'm full. <laughs> um, that hour is up. You once again have not heard noise from outside. I just remembered that I have a thing that I can do if we are continuing the same method that we've been doing so far of picking up the block and all of and and putting it back down well well big bad ray attacks is that my fighting style as a paladin is protection which means that when a creature that i can see targets somebody else somebody who is within five feet of me i can use my reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll as long as i am wielding a shield so i think what i want to do is i am going to while we are doing this groki is going to stand next to big bad ray and just be prepared to like Try to jump in, jump, jump in the path and protect. Cool. Awesome. So, you've not heard any noise from outside. It has been an hour. Can we make perception checks at disadvantage to the semi-translucent ice? Yes. Nice. Only because you know that there Out th are, yeah. you know, yeah. Because we're keeping an eye on them on it the whole hour, but it's still hazy and can't see. That's a ten. It's going to mean 11 for me. I rolled a two. I haven't added things yet, but that's not going to be much that I can add. Ooh, actually, I get to roll flat because I have a familiar that is helping me. All right. Oh, nice. Uh, rolling flat is a 15. All right. Um, Business Ray saw a little bit of movement out there. Um, like there was no movement for like 15, 20 minutes, and then there was a little bit of movement, and then it stopped. Um, uh, okay. Want to bluff them first? I got a new thing. If we take another 10 minutes, I can put a message up in the sky. <laughs> what? Well, that's cool. I'm down to take another, t another, another in-game 10 minutes. <laughs> I got nothing, nowhere to go. Cool. Yeah, I will, go for it. I will ritual cast Skyrite. All right. What does it say? Simply, you should probably leave. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead and roll uh, Intimidation if you'd like to. Woohoo! That's a 16. Cool. All right. You hear no noise from outside. Um. This is uh, okay with just because I'm feeling spicy. Um, without I, I, since I don't yet know whether or not they passed or failed, I can cast cutting words again. Um, to try to subtract from their uh, well, I guess it's a let's we see, can't see a, them yet, though. That's why I, that's why we're bluffing them like this. Well, if we were if it worked with the translucent block earlier, wouldn't it still work? Um, yeah, yeah right. but what did you roll on your well, perception check? Obviously, earlier, <laughs> so the idea earlier was that you you knew earlier roughly where they were, so even through the translucent oh. you could identify. There has been movement that Peeva specifically has not followed. Business okay. rate has a little bit. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Well, yeah. uh, at least in my head... Peebus is still like muttering to himself hateful things about pillagers. Booing. Peebus boos. <laughs> He's booing. Boo, <laughs> boo. He's just in a dark cave looking out like God. Just boo. Boo. Pillagers boo. All right. What would you guys like to do? I guess do y'all want to break a block and take a little peek arena out there or? Yeah, I mean, might as well check and see whether it worked. All right, Big Bad Bob, you're up. So here's what we're going to do is we're already going to sacrifice Big Bad Bob. No! Okay. I got the stuff to summon him again if I need to, but uh, we're going to send Buzz Bob out to go, Big Bad Bob out to go have a look. And they're probably going to try to kill him. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Tay, real quick point of order here. Yeah. Can sheep travel through one by one holes? I might be screwing us here, but I don't think they can. I don't think so. Technically, a familiar does have to be small size, so it might be a miniature sheep. But, yeah. No, oh, okay. I'm going okay. to call it it's a baby sheep. So baby sheep can. 
Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm not allowed to have a medium familiar. Sorry, I didn't mean to rules lawyer no, your no, game. I was good. just genuinely you're curious. You're good. I don't think they can in Minecraft, but however... I'm glad it came up, honestly, though, because I did envision a baby a sheep. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, yeah, and there are baby sheep in Minecraft who definitely can. Yeah. So. And here's the other thing is, it's also a mix of, like, D&D and Minecraft. So, like, some things like that, I'll fudge a little be like, oh, yeah, like, he can squeeze through. It's going to be a little tight. You're going to have to push him because he's, he's fluff. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a little a fluffy little pink butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, but no, he's a baby. He's a baby. So he's good. Oh, no, I kind of don't want to push him out the hole. Because he's so cute. <laughs> we, we've endeared <laughs> ourselves to the sheep so much. Or the sheep to us. Our poor the sheep little has sacrificial only been lamb. An hour. And I would ah. already die for him. <laughs> Question K. With that 15 perception, or six, 16 or whatever, 15, mm-hmm. um, do I have a general area I could drop a shadow and be hit at least one? I figure, or... You think? I think. Well, we do, do we know if... have We haven't broken a block to check if they're out there yet, have we? No, that's just going from my perception through, through the ice the, blocks yeah. to see if I oh, can, like, as soon okay, as we okay. break it, I have a target to drop one on. Gotcha. You think? <sighs> that means I'm going to have to take a look for sure. No, well, let's try it. All right. Break a block, I will drop a shadow in that area. And try to duck out of the way bef- next to Groki before I get shot. Cool. Cool. I will also hold an action to place a block immediately after cool. it is cast. Go ahead and roll for damage. Uh, 12 again. Cool. You do not hear anything. Ah! It's okay. doesn't look like they're there. Um, I guess we have to send business Bob out. I will walk into Business Bob, and Business Bob will go wander off. Put a little Bluetooth, a uh, little Bluetooth piece in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to like just like hear? Can you also see through his body? Like what is? Uh yeah. Cool. Ba- basically, uh, become in control, Bob. For wonderful. For the, uh, you while they're within a hundred feet. When you do that, you you're down to like half or less of the height that you were seeing wise. You're seeing the world on a whole new level, and, and um, Business Bob walks around a little bit towards, you know, where where you last saw movement and that sort of thing, and looks around, and there's no one, and continues looking, and there's no one, and uh, continues looking, and there's no one. Um, I would like to make a perception check with Wonderful. him, if I may, before yep. we go out there. Ah, Bob got a seven. Bob thinks we're good. We are good to go. We got the all yep. clear from Bob. You got the all clear from Bob. All right. Way to go, Bob. Finally, I can get away from this water. Yes. Let's yeah, get right. the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, Peavis breaks the other block and, like, walks out. Cool. Yep. You guys walk out. Uh, you don't hear anybody. You don't see anybody. Uh, it seems they have gone. Sweet. Um, so cautiously, because Peavis fucking hates pillagers, um, so, like, even though the, the, they seem to be gone, Peavis is still very much, like, he, like, he knows they're probably gone, but he's, in his head, there's not, you know, like, he's still very aware that they could be somewhere. Um, and he says, okay, just, just while we're here, we may not get this opportunity again for a while. Um, is there anything anybody needs that we can get while we're here? Um, I do have three diamonds to burn. Um, uh, things are generally priced in diamonds here. For example, I know there's a large emporium. It's sort of like a large general store with a bunch of stuff in it. I was thinking I could go get some quartz, get some nether quartz, because nether quartz is hard to get some time. But I don't know. What are you all feeling? Question, though. If it flat places like the rest of this place, are we going to have to pay for anything, or are we just looting abandoned buildings? I don't know. It depends on where you fall fall on the alignment chart. Um, I guess this I think, does. Oh, it does raise the question: Where did all the people go? Like, this is obviously a place that's built with love and care. And uh, Peavis, you might be able to answer better, like how, like people's relationship to this place, because you've been here before. But like, is this the sort of place that people would just like up and leave because they were like bored and done with it, or do you think something happened? 
Peebus, you know, doesn't really make eye contact with you as you ask him that. Um, he just sort of shifts his eyes around and looks around at the buildings and sort of scans the various cosmetic damage and, and wear and neglect on all the buildings um, and walks over to sort of a near a nearby little cobblestone shack and like brushes his hand on the outside. And uh, without looking at Grogu, he just says, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then he walks uh, south towards that emporium that he was talking about. Cool. Yeah. Um, Eric, you know Minecraft stuff. Well, anything that y'all want to get, you guys can pretty much get. Yeah. The exception is netherite. Yeah, nobody sold netherite. Um, I did. Nobody ever bought did? it. Nobody ever bought it. Where was your netherite shop? It was in. It was in the red. The red building that we had. There was a barrel yeah. that was. If it didn't have netherite supplied in there, you could write your name down on the book, leave half the payment, and then I was gonna like I would spend the time to go get it. And fulfill the oh, payment. And nobody okay. ever, I announced it like several times and nobody ever took me up on it. Sorry. <laughs> um, Peebus isn't like willing to believe that. So Peebus isn't willing to believe that the place is actually abandoned. Like he knows it probably is on some level, but he's not, he can't like get himself there to believe it. So Peebus is going to pay for whatever he takes. Um, but. He's not going to, like, check to see if you guys are paying, you know? He's, you know, so he's not, like, he, he's not, like, deciding to pay. It's just, like, automatic to him that he would pay for the stuff that he takes. Um, but he, yeah, so he basically, he's not going to stop you all from taking stuff, but Peebus will pay for stuff. I think um, after seeing, like, you paying for your own things, Groku would be like, oh, we're paying here, and would pay. Okay. So Peebus, I guess... In, in a you know, in a very uh, communist type way, Peebus takes his three diamonds and uh, g disperses them. So I guess we each we each have one diamond, um, and I'm going to spend my diamond on um, nether quartz. Cool. Uh, you can have two stacks. Two stacks. My what prices? Yeah, people were just you know farming them. It, Nether Quartz is one of those things that's like really valuable in the early game, and then by the mid game, you just have so fucking much of it. Like, yeah. I don't know what to do with any of this shit. Like the shulker boxes. If you guys want any shulker boxes, you can just have them. Oh yeah, freaking poke. <laughs> um, um, you did have at least one already. I did. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it was in the from, they gave from us that Aelin. Thing. Right, 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 right. Do, 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 do. I guess one is enough for me. I don't want to clutter my inventory. Essentially, it's an extra three rows of inventory for one slot. So if you guys want any of that. Mm -hmm. um, and they're free. Thanks, Poke. Um, at one point, you can build for the for the listeners and the players who don't know Minecraft very well. Um, you can build farms in Minecraft, which just generate items. They're ge they range from decently easy to build to massively complicated. Yeah. And a massively complicated one that you can build is a shulker box farm or a shulker shell farm. Um, that if you're really, really, really good at Minecraft, you can make incredibly efficient. So midway through season one of Questcraft, a player named Poke. It just had literally hundreds of thousands of these things that are normally incredibly valuable and just shattered the economy. Yeah. Because it's just <laughs> people like, people okay. were initially like hesitant, like, ooh, you, like you want a shulker box with this? Like, uh, that's going to raise the price. And then it became, no, take you're taking that and six shulker shells to buy this. Like, you have to take, take the extra shells. And at another <laughs> point, he just placed random shulker boxes full of shells everywhere yeah he would just like fly up to you and throw like 400 at you yeah. and then fly away yeah <laughs> it's just like yeah um so yeah i guess you know what i'll take assuming like we don't have to walk to each individual store we're all just kind of roaming around um i'll take the two stacks and other quartz um and then i'll grab just like a stack of shulker shells and those peebus cool. is okay with taking for free because <laughs> he knows the last time he checked yeah. they were free so yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Ray doesn't really know what to get in these places, so we'll just kind of decline the diamond when Peebus gives it to him, so you can pick something else, too. Oh, sweet. Peebus uh, is kind of a Minecraft aficionado. Yeah, same for same for Groki. Groki, there isn't anything in particular that they're interested in, so they'll leave the shopping to, oh, uh, to Peebus. Oh, a little spree. Um, in that case, <laughs> I will get however much redstone I can get with um <laughs> with a diamond. Stack of dust. Stack of dust, um, and then however much uh, blaze rods. We'll say a stack as well. Cool. With your shopping out of the way, there's been no more signs of the pillagers. Um, as you guys walk around, like Groki and Business Ray, you guys can appreciate there's like a snow globe in one section uh, that has like a little snowman walking around. There's like this like castle dungeon structure there is like um oh, i don't know the term it's a specific style of japanese houses oh was it shades e- no no um oh my gosh i don't know I, i'm not gonna worry about the you. name i think yeah, i can but, picture what you're um, what style you're talking about yeah um there is just some big boxes um there's like a, a on one part there's like a big box that um has like pep in letters and then there's p e r added up pepper um with like some red blocks on the top that you can't see there's a giant chicken with a crown on it overlooking everything like you can see pretty much it's a wild assortment out here yeah it's a wild um, assortment there's a giant sheep yeah, that was a good one. Um, I'm tempted. So if I remember correctly, the royal chicken was pooping diamond blocks. I knew he was pooping eggs at one point, but I don't know about... He, he was full of eggs. I, I think he was pooping diamond blocks. I think maybe it was just when we built it and then somebody took him again. But I, I'm not going to go take the diamond blocks. It's sacred. It's sacred. I'm, yeah. like, I'm not taking the diamond blocks. <laughs> uh, you can also look up in the sky and see this sort of yellow building of like a humanoid with wings on it. There's no clear way up there, but it looks really cool. Mm. I guess if we're out of diamonds and there's I'm not going to steal stuff, then I guess Peebus in a really disp- dismayed way just says, all right, I know where we have to go. And starts walking. In which direction, I'm not sure, but he starts walking. Tay, I think you know where he's walking. Is he going to the to the nether portal? Um I to think to he's gonna roof? go to the he's gonna go to to the village. Okay. Yeah. It's the so fastest the, way to get there is the, the fastest, nether portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, through the no So Peebus leads you guys to the Nether Portal. It is similar to I mean it's the same as like what you guys saw in the original world. Oh right. Um, and we've got fun little mechanics for Groki going through the Nether, right? For Oh yeah. The heat and the drying. Yeah. Yes. We won't this is not going to be long enough or intense enough to warrant using that. But yes, normally there is. Groki's just gonna feel a little bit more solid. Which is very Ugh. strange and uncomfortable. Gross. Yeah. How do you guys do it? I don't like being so solid. <laughs> <laughs> Ray is just confused. <laughs> she just, like tries to answer, but it's just like several studded syllables. So when you guys go through the portal, you appear on this like void esque area. The sky around you is red. Um in the nether before, you guys had, like, red sort of rocks underneath your feet. Um, there were, like, some trees around. There was lots of terrain. This is perfectly flat, except for the things that were very obviously built on by people. Um, so you come through the portal, and you can see in one direction, there are, uh, like, lines of blue tees. Um, there is a rail cart in another direction. There is like sporadic ice blocks in another. There's some carpets going off. You see, you know, just a handful of portals just already. And Peebus would start leading you guys to follow the T's. 
So you follow these T's down the line, you can, you pass by portals, and eventually you get to a, like, spherical, like, hobbit-style door. But instead of a door, it's another nether portal. Real proud of that one, aren't you, Tay? I didn't build that one. You didn't? Who built that one? Floral did. Oh. Yeah. Um. So you go through the portal and arrive. There's like a little fence gate in front of you that you can open and exit through. There's like a seating area directly in front uh, with a lectern um, and a chest. And on the lectern, it says uh, like hide and seek announcements. Off to the right, you can see like a handful of trees and like a giant tree house. Distantly, you can see some sort of like... Uh, hoops and uh, like various like tall buildings and rooms. Um, you can hear little chirps of uh, animals making noises just like beyond what you can see. Um, and then to your left, there is like a, a barn with some llamas wandering through. There's grass on the ground and you can distantly see a hedge maze. Um, Phoebus would lead you guys over past the barn around the corner and uh, to the side of a mountain where there is a stairway leading down further than you can see. Um, as we approach this this stairway, um, Peavis starts to like, not like nervously, but just sort of, he's apprehensive. He's a mixture of like excitement and nervousness um, and laughs and... Uh, then like gets scared again and just sort of goes through a massive range of emotions um, and just smiles and says, Hey, you guys want to see where I'm from? Yeah, I would love to. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hope that Lexi and Hallie aren't there or if they are, that hopefully recognize me, but uh all right, just be cool, okay? Your friendlies, it's all right. And uh, tally ho, and I start walking down the stairs. Wonderful. Do you guys follow? Absolutely. Yes. This is a long stairway down. It is going to take you a a hot sack of walking just to get down the first flight of stairs. It is very narrow and skinny. You have not much room above your head. There's enough where you're not going to hit your head, but there's not much more than that. And it goes down for a long way. It gets down to like this square room where there are paths leading off. Um and Peavis would lead you around to the back of it and to another set of stairs. These stairs go, instead of being stone, to a deep, dark, black stone um, with uh, the walls turning from, like, a normal stone to, like, this, like, deep, dark stone. Uh, it's lit kind of spookily, actually. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm just also having flashbacks to when 1.18 dropped and suddenly you could go way lower than before. And then all of a sudden, like all the stairs down to mines were suddenly just irrationally long. I'm like, yeah. God damn it. This is cool, but Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> So you guys can follow those stairs down and uh, there is like a corner to turn in. As you turn the corner, Peebus, you recognize your home. This is, you know, your place. You can look out, there's like a little balcony with another small set of stairs um, that leads out into this massive underground cave that you physically cannot see all of it. You can see that the cave goes like left and around and there's definitely more down there because you hear more you hear things happening like the as you get to that second set of stairs uh it is like almost like you've like breached a barrier that then you can start to hear the commotion and the noise and that sort of thing in front of you there is like what looks like very much like a like stopping point like you go here first all of the paths like from the stairs there's like one path and it goes to there um, you can see distantly like high walls with um, guards walking back and forth on it um, in one corner you can see farms nearby um, you can see a couple like what looks to be some sort of like storage building um, and Peavis <laughs> Much to your probably dismay after that comment, you see Lexi and Hallie standing in front of uh, the, like, stopping building. You know that this is the building. Um, it's essentially to, like, check and make sure that, like, nothing's corrupted you. It's like the, like, before you can enter the village, 
if you've been gone, you have to like essentially go through and be like checked that like you're not injured too bad, that you're not corrupted, that you're not secretly a pillager, like that you are safe to enter. Um, and the two of them stand there, one with a bow and arrow um, and one with a sword and they're just kind of chatting. Um, Lexi has like this long uh, blonde hair and is like just kind of leaning against the building while Hallie is leaning towards her very, they're definitely flirting with uh, brown hair, and they are quite relaxed at the moment. They have not noticed you yet. Um, as Peavis sees them, uh, his apprehension and whatever, all of those emotions that he was feeling earlier start to increase even more and more. But by far, the, the emotion that is presenting more than the other ones is just absolute sheer childlike excitement to see his friends again. Um, and uh, so he starts walking towards them and it like slowly turns into like a trot, you know, like an, like a, a run. And uh, he stops for a second and goes, oh, wait, 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 wait. And he pats, starts like patting himself and he pulls out his, his bardic goat horn um, and blows it a couple times. And I was wondering, can I flavor what it sounded like? Yeah, go for it. So he runs up and like once he gauges that he's like in earshot of Lexi and Hallie, he goes, hey! <laughs> in the house! And he yells to Lexi and Haley. The two of them immediately shift to attention at the like sudden like hey someone's coming. Bo immediately like drawn back aimed sword ready to fight and then just <laughs> Peace! Hey! Um Hallie Hallie drops her sword and just runs over to you and just like hugs you and just goes, oh my God, we thought you were dead. Nope, 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 just gassy. Just a little gassy. Um, good to be back. How's it going? How's the old village? Peavis, where have you been? Uh, I gotta tell you, it has been a long, long story. These are my friends. And I turn and I gesture and I say, this is, uh, uh, Groki, and should I? Uh, would you like to be introduced as Business Ray or Big Bad Ray? What uh, is still wearing the wolf costume? I believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got it. Big Bad Ray, Big Bad Wolf. Okay, I, it's it's coming together in, in Eric's head. Um, and I say, uh, this is Groki, and this is uh, Big Bad Ray. The, are the sheep still with us? Is the sheep still with us? Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. And then this is uh, Big Bad Bob. And Athenia, um, say hello. Welcome in. Oh, uh, Lexi, who still has her bow in hand, just kind of like has it like right, not pointed at anyone, but definitely drawn cautiously and just goes. It's been two years. Jesus Christ, has it has it really? It's been two years. Fuck. Well, I'm sorry. I, I I don't know. I have a lot to explain. A lot has gone down. I don't a lot of which I don't understand, but I'm, I'd love to tell you all about what happened. Um, I'm just I'm just so happy to see you. Can can we come inside? I mean, you know, procedure. We got to, you know, we got to yeah, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, naturally. Yeah. Yeah. And Lexi will like still hold her bow, not pointing at anyone. And go. All right. Let's get you all checked in. She seems more hesitant to the fact that you're actually Peebus. Hallie is just like, no, Peebus is back. Peebus is back. Peebus is safe. We're good. Um, and they will take you inside of that building. Um, there is like a little like water tube that you have to step into for a few seconds. They look at Groki when it is Groki's turn and just go. We'll, we'll pass on that one for you. I don't think it would go well. Thank you, thank you. I I'm not a fan of water. I must admit. No, that's 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 fair. Um, and they they like do their little test. They have you like drink something, and like y'all don't react weird, so it's all good. Um, yeah, and then they finish the test, and uh, by the end, uh, Lexi puts her little bow down, um, and they are just more relieved to see. Peebus and happy to make new friends. Um, so they finish and they go, why don't we take you all to town hall? Um, we can pull everyone together and you can 
chair where you've been the last two years. That sounds that sounds delightful. I'd love to. Yeah. How long did it take us to get here? Um. Well, I mean, you use the nether. Like, it's probably been like six hours, seven hours since this morning. Oh, then it would be business, Ray. That's okay. Oh, okay. It could. It could be. It could be big bad Ray, and then I'll let you. I'll let you have it, and then you know, let part it fade way. Out in, here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I kind of wanted. Yeah, I wanted. No, to that's just, cute. Just, it's it's funny. Just disappear randomly on the walk to the place and pretend nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Do you guys need food or anything? Like how? Honestly, uh, if if Hip and Pip are still here, that would be incredible. I I think we could all use sort of a top up. Okay. Yeah. No. For sure. Um. Then we'll we'll have you guys go sit in you know the side room. Uh. I'll I'll go get Hip and Pip and. Uh. And Hallie's Hallie's got gathering people. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, and yeah, so you guys are led to, uh, this giant tall building on the top. Uh, Peebus knows that there's a library on the roof. Um, it is a two-story building, uh, with roof access. Uh, it is fairly simplistic looking. Uh, but when you step inside, the first thing you see is, like, this big, wide, like, ballroom with, like, tables on either side. One of the tables has, like, food on it that people can just, like, go grab whenever. Um, the other side has some books uh, and a couple tables. Uh, there's a couple brewing stands there. Not that I don't think necessarily you guys would know what those are. Uh, business rank Groki. And you get led off to one of the side rooms. Um, and Lexi just goes, all right, you guys wait here um i'm gonna go start gathering people hallie will be back with hip and pip i'm happy you're back and i smile and i say yeah <laughs> uh and they <laughs> head off um and that is going to be where we end the episode we will Peebus bring hip and pip in next time Peebus is home it's cute i have to say i like the touch where we end entering a town hall yet again honestly <laughs> no that's good I you mentioned town that. hall and i'm just like oh the episode's gonna be ending soon isn't it <laughs> it's great then the listeners can like take bets on how long it takes us to get kicked out of it next I session i was gonna Do say you, we're gonna get kicked out of our, I feel my like own Pebus town this would be so heartbroken if we got kicked out here's the thing is I don't think Peebus would get kicked out. I think if people got kicked out, it would be like Business and Ray and Grokey, and it would be like, Peebus, you gotta choose now. Oh, no! Well, I don't they're... foresee that! Don't don't destroy things, and you guys should be fine! <laughs> well, they'd also be more used to, to Peebus antics, you yes, know? like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to episode 24. Uh, this particular group will see you in two weeks, but I, Tay, will see you next week. Goodbye. Hey, bye. 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 I miss you. I need to share, first and foremost, that Lexi and Hallie, those characters, those two characters are based off two of my best friends because I thought it would be really funny. Um, and I talked with them. We had like a two hour call. We made full D&D &D, like sheets for them just in case we need them. Uh, absolutely amazing. So little shout out to Lexi and Hallie because I love them so much. Um, I don't know if Lexi listens to this podcast, but I know Hallie does. So Hallie, if you're listening, um, I want you to text me a train emote because I think it's funny. Um, just to, like, let me know that you got here. Because supposedly you listen on Tuesdays. I'm just, like, calling you out in front of everyone. And I think it's funny. But supposedly you listen on Tuesdays. So I expect a train emote. Thank you so much. I will update if I get sent a train emote or not, guys. This will be an update next week. Okay? Or I might tweet about it. I'm not sure. But... Anyway, <laughs> if you would like to talk to us about the show, uh, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter um, at Adventure SMP Pod. 
Uh, or you can find um, us at patreon.com slash adventure SMP, where we have a handful of things at the free tier uh, where you don't pay the money. You can just like look at a couple stuff um, or at the $2 tier and above. We have character sheets, which I'm so sorry. I still need to do these last couple weeks have been absolutely insane. And these character sheets are 95% done. I just need to like actually sit down and do the hard part. And I'm so sorry that I haven't done that yet. I'm genuinely so sorry. But at the $2 tier and above, you can get character sheets. Um, and then above that, you can uh, submit NPCs. You can submit items. Last World, we had a lot of NPCs submitted that I ended up using. Um, but yeah, you can find us there. Patreon.com slash Adventure SMP Podcast. Um, you can also check me personally out everywhere at Seashell Vids. Um, yeah. But a uh, special shout out to our server gods that help pay for this podcast and make it so I can do really cool things. Um, Marissa, Gun, Fell, and Mary. You guys mean the absolute world to me along with all of our patrons. And I will see you guys next week. Goodbye!